When I wake up in the morning and I go online I'm looking for something crazy to blow my mind Can't look away cause you're addicted So incredible you can't resist it You are watching, you are watching Friendship is as fickle as the weather. Now the weather is fair and both friends are adding the latest touches to their makeups. They don't even argue about the mirror. However, it's time to take a selfie. The girls are turning themselves into their best images. One friend suddenly decides she's more beautiful than the other, so she should be alone on the selfie. She's moving aside further and further. Hey, watch out! Don't fall off the couch! The other friend wants to take an individual selfie as well. Hey, how dare you take a photo with Without me. Come on, move! Here it is, a quarrel has come out of the blue. It seems this time we'll see the whole whirlpool of revenge pranks. My friend can stop trusting me, but she'll certainly trust the dessert. Cake pops have never let her down. At least until now. Smash cookies into fine crumbs. You can use a spoon or a blender. Add condensed milk, traditional and chocolate ones. Mix the cookie mass. Shape balls. Insert a stick into a ball and cover it with black pepper. Cover another cake pop with cayenne pepper. You can add the spicy filling inside. Add a spoon of fat cream into melted chocolate. Stir until smooth and dip in the balls. Decorate the cake pops. Cover them with coconut shavings and rainbow sprinkles. Freeze until firm. My friend treats me with her cake pops. They look tempting. I bite a piece. Ouch! Someone's put pepper instead of sugar. Fire! I ask my friend for help, but she doesn't hear me. She's reaching out for my cake. I bet it'll invigorate you. Pile waffles, alternating layers of chocolate condensed milk with mustard. Break a bar of chocolate. Melt it in a microwave. Spread the melted chocolate over the waffle cake. I bite a sweet chocolate cake. Oh my god, there's mustard trap inside. Ah! My tongue's been put into all nine circles of hell. I need some water to extinguish the fire in my mouth. I'm reaching out for my peppered cake pops by mistake. Ah, it's turned worse. The prank war's broken out with fire. How to tame a fire-breathing dragon? Use a Sprite can. Turn a Sprite can upside down. Make a cut in the bottom. Pour the beverage into a glass. Take carbonated mineral water, suck it into a syringe, and eject it into the empty Sprite can. Cover the cup with hot glue. Turn the can over. No one will notice anything's wrong. Offer the Sprite to your friend. She's alert to the possibility of being pranked, but the can looks normal. She opens it and takes a sip. Oh, it seems they substituted Sprite for water. It tastes like plain mineral water. She's been pranked again. Is there anyone around? No one. That's good. It's time for a skydiver shoes mission. Take your friend's favorite sneakers and attach them to the ceiling using double-sided tape. Your friend's going to put on her sneakers but can't find them anywhere. She leans back on the couch and sees her shoes on the ceiling. How did they get there? My friend tries to jump to the ceiling to take them off, but it's no easy thing considering her height. Wait a bit until the sneakers fall into your hands, or perhaps straight onto your head. Warning, a weather forecast calls for a shoe fall. You'd better put on a helmet. I'm going to take revenge for my spoiled photo. My friend will never expect such a sly revenge. I start a mission of a failed photo exhibition. <laughs> Print out selfies in which you look good and she doesn't. Attach them to the wall. You've been friends for so long, there's enough selfies to make a whole exhibition. Your friend enters the room. She sees her wall of disgrace. No! Seal up the room. Keep it in quarantine and destroy the evidence. Remove this wailing wall. I've got a special prank. I'll scare my friend with a fake wound. Take one ounce of gelatin, one ounce of glycerin and the same quantity of water. Mix the ingredients, put in cream foundation to add some color. Stir well and put it in the microwave for a few seconds. Make sure the gelatin dissolves but the mixture doesn't boil. 
Let it cool, put it on your hand. When the jelly hardens, add more color using concealer. You can also use foundation or powder. Add a reddish tone using blush. Take gouache to imitate a bleeding wound. You can easily remove the fake wound from your hand. It can be attached to slightly wet skin again. I put the wound on my hand, pretending I'm asleep. My friend comes up and notices my wound. Though we've had a quarrel, she keeps worrying about me. Wake up! You've got a wound on your hand! I pretend that I'm scared. I throw the fake wound at her. It looks perfect on her head. I've come as a peacemaker to settle the quarrel. Take an ice cream to cope, or soap, with it. Carefully remove the wrapping from an ice cream bar. Take it out and keep the wrapping. Eat the ice cream, keep the stick, and clean it. Make a notch in a bar of soap. Use a craft knife. Insert the stick into the notch. Put the soap bar into the wrapping. Hot glue the edge. We open the ice creams. I've got a tasty real one, and my friend's got a piece of soap. The ice creams have nothing in common except for the shape. On the other hand, she won't smudge her hands in chocolate. Nothing can distract my friend from her selfie, except my corn puff scent. She asks to treat her as well. I have a special bag for her. Open a bag of corn puffs. Put in crumpled paper cutouts instead. Hot glue the bag so it looks like it used to. My friend opens the bag and takes out crumpled paper. I just care about your figure. Stop throwing paper balls at me. I've got two packs of yogurt, an ordinary one and a special one for my friend. There's a double bottom in it. Take two packs of yogurt, eat one and clean the pack. Cut it out in half and remove the bottom. Carefully peel off the top from the other pack. Transfer the dessert into a cup. Leave a little yogurt on the bottom to make it heavier. Put the cutout bottom into the pack. Push it to hide the protruding edges. Fill the double bottomed pack with yogurt. Carefully attach the top cover. My friend enjoys eating her yogurt, but it finishes too quickly. Though I've still got a lot. What's wrong? Have bifidobacteria eaten the whole yogurt? It's unfair! My friend takes care of her skin. Let's offer her super nourishing cream. Transfer cream from the jar into a clean cup. Wipe the jar with a napkin. Put in sour cream. Clean the edge and put on the top. My friend opens her cream and puts it on her face, though she realizes at once there's sour cream instead of makeup. It's a purely natural product, no additives. My friend asks me to give her my hand cream. Here you are. Enjoy my getting you back prank. Grate an onion. Suck the onion juice into a syringe. Eject it into a hand cream tube. My friend spreads the cream over her hands. What's this? Why do I smell as if I'd washed my hands in onion juice? Ugh! What's wrong with this cream? Is it a new onion flavored brand? I urgently need to wash my hands. I'm going to prank my friend during art classes. I want to paint using my deodorant. Take apart an empty roll-on deodorant. Remove the ball. Squeeze acrylic paint into the container. If the paint is too thick, mix it with some water. Set the ball back. Take off the top and roll on over the paper to amaze your friend. It's a new tendency of contemporary art. It's deodor art. And your brushes are old fashioned. If my friend's so keen on seeking new art techniques, let her try my crying marker. Take apart a marker. Pour a little water into the barrel. Assemble it again. While drawing with the marker, it leaves black spots and stains. My friend opens the marker and a little pool flows immediately out of the cap. Has it heard the call of nature? Anyway, I can't use it for drawing, except to make a stain. It's time to cook lunch. My friend cuts fruit to make a salad and I try to open a sweet peas can. Correction, the pranking sweet peas can. Turn a sweet peas can upside down. Open it and remove the peas with the liquid. Fill the can with gummies. Hot glue the cut. Shake the can over her salad to let the filling out. What are you doing? Oh, why are there gummies here? Anyway, they'll add a new flavor to my salad. Thanks. My friend's gone, leaving her shawl next to me. She'd rather not do that. 
I may accidentally spill my nail polish on it. Spread some oil over a plate. Make sure the oil layer is very thin. Drop your nail polish on the plate. Let it dry. Peel off the polish and use it as a fake stain to prank your friend. Put the stain on your friend's shawl. Make sure to leave your polish bottle nearby. She finds this manicure stuff on her clothes and gets angry. But she soon realizes it's been a prank. I can't be angry with my friend for a long time, nor can she. We've been pranking each other for some time. Now it's enough. Let's make up and take a funny selfie together. We hope you never quarrel with your friends about our pranks. Write in your comments which pranks you liked the most. Be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and click the bell so you don't miss our new prank wars.